Hello, I'm Philip Brunel, Artistic Director and Founder of Vocal Lessons and Organist Choir Master at Plymouth Congregational Church in Minneapolis. So each day I've selected a composer who has had a role to play with both organizations. And you know, there have been dozens and dozens of wonderful composers that I felt we needed to feature and today, certainly, one of those is William Dawson, one of the most important of African-American composers, born in 1899, passed away in 1990. I'm sorry I never had a chance to meet Dawson, because he was obviously a richly wonderful man who did so much for the spirituals and to bring them to life for choirs to sing. He was not only a composer, he was a conductor. For many years, he was at Tuskegee Institute where there was, uh, he started a Tuskegee radio choir, very important during the 1930s and 1940s. He became famous for a, a work for orchestra called Negro Folk Symphony which was premiered by the Philadelphia Orchestra under Stokowski. And that piece began to uh, give him a great deal of notoriety. And then he went on from there to make sure that all of these wonderful spirituals were known. One of them that was a beautiful one, and his arrangement is certainly prized over all, is his setting of the words from Jeremiah, there is a balm in Gilead.
music of William Dawson. People said about Dawson that, yes, there was a richness in the textures of his music, but there was also a lushness in the sonorities of what he composed. Not all of the music, of course, was slow. He wrote a number of up-tempo settings of spirituals. Here's part of one that he wrote for the President Emeritus of Tuskegee Institute. It's called, Ain't of That Good News? Have a wonderful day.